What's good YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly step-by-step -step how to successfully launch pre-orders for your online clothing brand. If you don't know me, my name is Derek Dahl. I'm the founder and CEO of Three Nails. We're a premium faith-based activewear company based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. I built my brand out of my garage five years ago. I've been able to turn it into a $5 million company just five years later. So I've learned a lot these last five years. Hopefully I can give you some value in today's video and apply it to your own company. All right, I got my laptop here. Before I hop into this and show you exactly what I do for my pre-order strategy, I'll tell you this exact pre-order strategy has helped me so immensely, especially in the early days of building my brand. You have no idea you're able to be upfront with your customers you're saying hey this pre-order is going to take six weeks to arrive to my warehouse before shipping it out to you you can then sell it to them at full price or at a discount whatever you like to if you guys have watch my videos in the past, you know I do not leave it at discounts. So we sell it completely at full price. They know upfront what they're getting into. They know that they're supporting the brand and that they are able to reserve their size. Cause even for like my company, we've had products, whether it's brand new products or just a restock that we put on pre-orders that have sold out during pre-sales countless times. So the language that you need to use when communicating with your audience or your customer base is this is the chance to, to reserve your size before we sell out. Like for us, our shorts are super popular. The short that sold out during pre-order last month is now back in stock. Make sure to reserve your size now by pre-ordering and they'll be shipped out within six weeks. Something like that. You know, you obviously you guys can word it however you want, but that's something that we do with our customer base. You just have to really hype it up and really give them a reason of why they should be buying now, right? Like, why don't why don't they just wait six weeks later? Like for my brand, again, we sell out during pre-orders. It is not rare in our customer base who's been following us and loyal to us, they know we sell out during pre-order. So they want to buy. Let's hop into this. I'm gonna show you exactly what we do. All right, guys, we're on my laptop now. I am in my Shopify store. I do use Shopify Plus. However, it does not matter what Shopify plan that you are using, but as long as you're using a Shopify store, you can use this pre-order strategy. So let's hop into it. So for this example, I'm using one of my old shorts. We don't sell them anymore. However, for this example of today's video, I thought this would be perfect to be able to show you guys how we do this so that we don't mess with my actual live website. <laughs> um, so anyways, here, as you can see, we have the title of the product. We have the description here. We have the photos. And then we have the variants, which for my brand, it is the sizes, the prices, and then the inventory available. So for us, what we need to do in order to prep this for our pre-orders is we need to start with the title. So for us, I always do parentheses, pre-order. And then this example, will just say six weeks. And then it'll say pre-order, six weeks, light text, short, and then the color black. And then we will click save. Next, we go to the description. I already have some notes that I have copy and pasted here. I always put this in bold so that the customers know exactly what they're getting themselves into. So it says, this product is a pre-order item. If your order includes this item, your order will be shipped in one package on slash by August 15th. This is when we'll receive our inventory shipment. Thanks for your support and patience. So obviously you can take this date, put this in whenever you're expecting your order to arrive to your warehouse or your house or garage, whatever. This is the language that we use though. So this will allow to communicate with your customer and let them know that if they order multiple items in their order, say there's a t-shirt that is actually in stock, well, their whole order won't get shipped out until this date. And that just helps with shipping costs because then you don't have to split orders and then pay more shipping because then that would be something that you as a business owner would have to pay out of pocket. Unless like a customer has like a special request, they have like a like their son's birthday coming up or something where they're like, hey, can you please ship this one first and then ship this one you know, at a later date? Then usually we would go ahead and take care of our customers, but that is definitely something up to you of however you see fit. But yeah, again, this is big and bold. This is the first thing that they see on the website when they look at this product. So they know exactly what they're getting themselves into, that this is a pre-order, that this product is not in stock currently, and especially in the title too, right? Pre-order six weeks. So you guys can see, you just have to cover all your bases really as a business owner so that you just make sure that you're not miscommunicating with your customer, that you're not leading them astray, right? The worst thing you can do is have a customer purchase from you and not know that their item was a pre-order, and then you get a negative review and it's just gonna be you know, very challenging to deal with. So going down, we got the pictures in here. These are already uploaded. Like I said, I've used this you know, product before for previous sales. So these all look great, 
ready to go. Next thing we do is we'll have to type in the inventory. So I have my SKUs and everything in here as well. So you gotta take whatever you ordered. Let's just say for sake of it, we got a hundred, 200, 200, not 2000, 100, 100. Cool. Medium and largest, so the most for us. So just for example, again, we'll just go with this. And then now we will go ahead and save. All right, we're gonna click preview. Here's the preview of the shorts on my website. And this is on draft currently, but this just gives you a, a quick preview of what it would look like on your website. So we see the shorts, it says pre-order six weeks, light tech short, black, everything looks pretty good in here. Description, scroll down. This product is a pre-order item. If your order includes this item, your order will be shipped in one package on slash by August 15th. This is when we will receive our inventory shipment. Thanks for your support and patience. So it's right there, boom, that's the description. Everything is ready to go. They can now select a size, add to cart, and they can go ahead and purchase this item at full price. And then just going one step further, after your customer is able to place an order, they should have an automatic email that's set up to be triggered in your back end, whether you use Klaviyo or MailChimp or whatever email marketing software you use, where it's an automatic flow, where it goes to all customers who ordered a pre-order item, where it'll say, hey, thank you so much for your order, you know, the order confirmation email. And it'll say something along the lines of, thank you so much for your order. It looks like you purchased a pre-order item. And then just, again, reiterating the language of, hey, it looks like we will be estimated to receive the shipment in by this date which is six weeks from now thank you so much for your patience we'll keep you updated in the meantime and then you can send out emails each week to communicate with your customer this is a huge opportunity to create a connection a special connection with your guys' customers and at the end of the day in business that's what we're doing here guys is we are talking with real humans not robots they are not just a number there are real people out there that love your company love your brand your mission and they want to connect with you and so treat them as a real person. Don't just treat them as a number. And then the last thing to be said for this is your fulfillment. So for us, we use a software system called ShipStation. So in our ShipStation backend, all that we'll do is we'll see all of the products that say pre-order on them, and we'll just filter those out not to print those orders, you know, until we get our shipment in. It's super easy. If you're fulfilling your orders off of Shopify, you can look and see Every single order that says pre-order, just filter it out. Do not print those and ship those out or fulfill those. Obviously you can't because you don't have the product yet. And that's how you do the back-end fulfillment. Again, this is just super simple, super easy. I don't know why no one's made this video. And again, I take pride in just being the person that is creating these videos, giving out the secrets to you guys, because I wish that I had these videos when I first started my brand five years ago. I've been successful with my company. There is so much in this world to share from a success standpoint. I've got no worries in, in sharing the secrets with you guys. Uh, I really want to see you guys win in 2023. I really hope you guys can take this strategy, try it out. Leave me a comment if you're stuck in any way. But if you guys follow exactly how I showed you step by step, you guys will be able to successfully launch your pre-orders for your clothing brand, which will in turn allow you to get some more cash up front to help pay for the remaining balance when your order is finished to get shipped to you. So anyways, guys, I hope you got a ton of value from this video. Love you all. God bless. See you in the next one. Peace.